What's up, guys? I'm the Crypto Coin Kid. Why is your tongue blue? Today's episode is about coding. Coding what? What is code? Why do we need to know it? Who can teach me? All these questions. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about coding and how that relates to cryptocurrencies. So remember, cryptocurrencies are just code. So what is code? If you're a kid and you haven't started coding yet, this video is for you. So here's how I get started. As long as you have access to the internet, you can code. First of all, code is everywhere. 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 So many companies now use code. And I know you've used them before. Google, Facebook, Snapchat, your toys, robots, you name it. They all use code. And all of these things need instructions. For example, my mom keeps telling me to clean my room. The only reason I don't is because she didn't give me good instructions. <laughs> and my room's not cleaning. I need a robot. Code is instructions for a computer. So all code is written in language. And there are lots of different languages. Here are some examples. Python, Java, C++, Ruby, Scratch, and all these other ones. So you need to pick one to learn. And once you can speak it, I, I mean type it, then you can communicate with computer. Let's do a little example. In Python, I'm gonna build a program that's gonna say my name 10 times. So first, we want to set up the computer program on this website. Then I'm going to take some of the language and talk to the computer. Remember, every language is a little different, but they have a lot of things that are the same. So here we go. I put this line here, and this tells the computer to do something 10 times, and that's called a loop. Loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop, loop-de-loop. Loop. This function tells the computer to write my name on this program. Next, in the loop instruction, I tell it when to stop. And then I press enter and voila! I have told my computer to print my name 10 times and that is called a program. Next, I'm going to write a program that tells me to clean my room. I'm a robot. Now my room is clean. What do you want me to do next? I am the crypto coin kid. Please give me instructions. I like instructions. <laughs> now where should you start if you want to learn to code? My advice? Code.org. Because you can start by learning how to put things in order and give good instructions. Because if you can't give good instructions, your computer programs won't work. And I miss you. <sighs> Now, why do we need to know coding for cryptocurrencies? First, why don't we just look at the code of Bitcoin? Go to github.com, find Bitcoins, and search. Oh, there she is. Okay, check it out. This is the Bitcoin code. Check this part out. This one is going to be about how many Bitcoin there is going to be. It says 21 million, and that's it. Now, these are really complicated instructions, but it all started from learning the simple instructions, then turned into the complicated ones. I started using code.org, and then moved into using Python on my dad's computer. So I hope you see how code is important for cryptocurrencies, and how we couldn't have them if we didn't know how to code. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. See you later.